Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be speaking to you about this 2005 Audi A8. It's done just 62,000 kilometres since it was brand new and it's an A8 4.2 litre Quattro. It's got very low kilometres and being a 4.2 litre Quattro they pretty much came with everything so it's got Xenon headlights, electric memory electric seats, navigation, parking sensors obviously, automatic lights, Xenon lights, cruise control, a sunroof and since in this era of uh, A8 it really reminds me of a Bentley right down to little things like your individual armrests in the front you've got the phone in there as well it's an 05 build, 05 compliance there you go, 62,000 kilometres the next service at Audi, the last one was done at Audi as well um, so it might not focus there, but it says next service due at 76,000 kilometres. It's charcoal metallic grey with black leather interior. It's got the standard absolutely beautiful alloy wheels. I think at the time just about everyone who had an Audi tried to put these wheels on their car. From A6 to A4. The good thing about the 4.2 litre Quattro is it really puts the power to the road. And I've driven these, this model, in fact I was an 04 4.2 litre Quattro which had 280,000 kilometres. And that drove particularly well. We've also got at the moment in stock an RS6 which has 270,000 kilometres. So these cars are capable of big Ks if they're looked after. And this with just 62,000 kilometres has a long life ahead of it. It's got a full size spare. Looks like it's got the original Pirelli tyre on there. And uh, this little 4.2 litre V8 develops about 246 kilowatts. It sounds fantastic, it actually sounds like a V8. There was a time when all the manufacturers, Lexus is probably the worst example, um, um, basically put so many restrictions through their exhaust system you couldn't even tell if it was a V8. Or should I say Lexus was the best example of this because they were so quiet. Those uh, LS400s and 430s, you just could not tell if, if it was a V8. Mercedes weren't dissimilar. BMW were always pretty good with the, with the BMW. You could always hear that V8 engine. And um, Audi as well. They've been pretty good at that and this sounds fantastic. It's very well balanced. It's great having the, the Quattro drive system. Uh, another thing is the headlights are nice and clear. You'll probably find with other A8s you've looked at they go hazy, cloudy, oxidised. You've got yellow along the top there. It's not that. It's obviously been garaged. Uh, but probably what sets this car apart from all the other cars for sale is the low kilometres. It's got incredibly low kilometres. The leather is beautiful like new, as you would expect with, with these kilometres. It's got the Bose sound system. It looks like every service has been done at an Audi dealership. And if you've been looking for a particularly good Audi A8, this is it. And I think it's very well priced. The good thing about cars and it to this age is there's not really a big difference between, you know, 60,000 kilometres and 120,000 in terms of, of price. And to be able to buy a car like this, which was about $200,000 when it was new, in this price range is remarkable and although there are a lot of moving parts and yeah, there's a big engine it does have air suspension as well if you look them look after them properly they're really not too bad at all you know if you go a year or two without servicing it you might get a big bill 
if you go over a speed bump at 50 kilometers an hour and you break one of the or rupture one of the shock absorbers well that's that's your problem if you drive the car sensibly service it well there should be absolutely no reason for failure and as I said if you can see that Audis like this one with one two and three hundred thousand kilometers you know they are capable of doing big big distances and if you do if you were to have any sort of issue with the car whether it's suspension or whatever it might be if you have a good European mechanic you can buy all these parts you know aftermarket there's even some parts you can buy secondhand probably wouldn't buy a second-hand shock absorber but um, you know for example if you went over a putt hole and you damaged a wheel to the extent that it couldn't be repaired you could just buy a second-hand wheel I'm sure there's lots of wreckers in in Sydney with cars with these wheels on it I find the electrics on these are very good they're very susceptible to um, to battery replacement and if the battery's not a hundred percent it can throw up some fault codes so if you go to your mechanic there's fault codes on the car there's there's some issues first thing they'll do is put in a brand new battery and 80 percent of the time that's all it will be the leather is excellent and it's so soft you can see the puckering up the back here I said it really does remind me of the Bentley from 05, 06, 07 with the interior. I think the general look is very Bentley as well. We just don't have a, the running costs. And uh, around this time is when Bentley was basically being, well, it was owned by Volkswagen. If you have any specific questions about the car, you can give us a call. We contact one o two nine five six nine double nine double nine. We have in-house finance, and if you're interstate, you can even leave a deposit subject to seeing the car and being, you know, being satisfied that it's uh, it's the car you want to buy and there's no issues. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. We're located in Marrickville. And we look forward to hearing from you shortly.